Last year, I made a video about creating my own personal crypto index fund. And this year, I'm finally making an update video about said index fund. From the time that I made it in late August of last year until now, it has grown close to 3x. I initially put $1,000 in just to see how well it would perform over the next year. And then I wanted to share with you all the progress on it. Now, the thing about index funds is that you try to build them to be as safe of an investment as possible. Now, there are some out there that are pretty risky and they make a lot of money, but sometimes they lose a lot of money as well. My intention with this index fund was to make as much money as possible while investing in a lot of the quote unquote safer assets. Now, I did throw in a couple that I thought were a little bit on the higher risk side, just to add in some spice to the index fund. Those were Matic and Rollbit. And the rest of these were some of the top performing cryptos on the market that have been around for a long time. Um, but what I'm here to show you today is how easy it is to make money in crypto by just being patient by purchasing something and holding it for a year. You know, these types of gains people would kill for in the stock market. People are content with 5 to 10% annually in the stock market and what I did here with this index fund in crypto is almost 3x my money in a single year. So if I had put 10 grand into this I'd be almost at 30 grand right now. If I had put 100 grand into this, I'd be at almost 300 grand. That's a massive, massive win for any type of investor out there. So here is my index fund. You can see clearly what all I put into it. I put Bitcoin, Ethereum, AVAX, ADA, Link, Matic, and Rollbit. Matic is now called POL, P-O-L for Polygon. They just did their rollover into their new token back in late September. But beyond that, all of these are still the same. I haven't touched any of these. So the two assets that I spent the most money on in this index fund, because I didn't create all of these assets as equals in my index fund, I actually spent more on some than others. With Bitcoin and Ethereum, I put $250 a piece into those assets. So what we see here is my Bitcoin holdings from a year ago. I bought $247.15 worth of Bitcoin. It went up 266% for a total profit of $659.63. Ethereum, again, put in about roughly $250, ended up profiting 120% for $298 of profit. Avalanche, this was one of my best performing assets. And I kind of went into this index fund knowing that it would be one of my best performing assets just because of how low I was able to purchase these AVAX coins at $10 a piece. So I purchased 9.85 AVAX for $98 and ended up profiting $346 off of this trade. So 350% profit. ADA, another really great buy. I was able to buy at roughly 25 cents a piece, 388 ADA, about $100 profited $321 or roughly 325%. Link was also another great purchase, not as good as the last two, but I purchased 16.9 Link, profited $217, roughly 219%. Polygon, 179 Matic, profited $7. So, this was another one of those uh, that I was talking about. I knew it was a little bit higher risk because there was a lot going on with it. They were shifting to a brand new type of token. There was just so much going on in 
their specific space. A lot of people had a lot of negative things to say about Polygon going through this change. They've previously changed their entire brand. And so this isn't the first time and people were asking questions about that. But they've been building continuously nonstop through the bear market. And so I foresee this one doing things in the future. And then the last one was definitely by far my riskiest asset, Rollbit. And I purchased 562 RLB, ended up profiting negative $36. So I lost money on this trade. But like I said in the beginning, I knew going into this that this was going to be my biggest risk asset. And so I was comfortable making this trade knowing that if it did go down, all of the other assets in my portfolio were going to even that out or continually make me money. And they did. And that's the entire point of an index fund, guys. You could put a number of assets into an index fund. Like You don't want to overpopulate it, obviously, because then you have to spread your money out way too thin. But if you put like what I did here with about seven assets and you can put a decent chunk of change into each of them, you can end up profiting quite a bit off of these assets appreciating in value. And that's exactly what happened here. So where does this go from here, right? What I plan to do with this is not touch it for another year and see what happens. I want to be able to make another update video for you guys to talk about where this goes. I genuinely do believe that all of these assets are going to go up in value over the coming year. Now, obviously, there are market cycles to the crypto market, right? And eventually, everything is going to go down once it hits its new all-time high. And some of these assets might not ever hit a new all-time high, and that's just the way it goes in crypto. You can have an asset that goes like this in its first cycle and then never hits that peak again, and that's totally fine. But it'll still do a 10x in the next cycle, and that's just the way it goes. But the thing that you have to understand is that some of these assets are not created equal. The Rollbit coin that I have in my portfolio, it's built on top of an actual business. And that's why I think that it has potential to do incredible things. Rollbit is an online casino that creates a ton of revenue on the daily. And it has its own token built into it for generating different things. They do a lottery system using that token. And so it has inherent value built into it. And I think that as the market grows and as more people find out about that casino, then that token is going to appreciate in value as well. I was looking at some prediction markets earlier of people talking about what they thought using AI, where Rollbit was going to be. And they think that by the end of January 2025, so just two months away, that it'll be somewhere around 40 cents a coin. Now, I don't know if you were paying attention, but it's currently sitting at about 11 cents. And that would be almost a 4x on that investment right now if you were to pick some up. I'm not saying go out and do that, but if you did and it did hit 40 cents, you'd be making almost a 4x on that investment. So again, Going into it, I knew that Rollbit was going to be my riskiest asset, and I took that risk knowing that all of the other assets that I had in my portfolio would do well, and they did. And so I wanted to share with you the, the progress of this index fund, and again, next year, sometime, I'll share with you an update as well. So that's what I wanted to share with you guys today. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please be sure to hit that like button and also leave a comment if, if you want to see something else or you want me to add something to it or maybe just create a new portfolio starting from scratch. Let me know in the comments, guys. That's going to be it for today. Capital Recon out.